Thank you for joining in today. And as always, I'm excited for the opportunity to reach out to you and to communicate the things that bring life and fulfillment. And today, I want to encourage you to be aware of the fact that wisdom is not just about the ability to return so much information, to retrieve so much information that we have read about and we have studied in the past, but it is having the ability and the fortitude to act on the information that you have. I have come across friends who have a very strong memory. They can retrieve information from so many years back, uh, but they at the same time lack the ability to act on the information to the point where this information is able to improve their lives and the lives of the people around them. So it, wisdom is having the ability to uh, retrieve information, but much more uh, act on that information in a way that is continually shaping yourself and shaping your family. And people of wisdom are people who are placing uh, the right things ahead of them. They are fixing their minds on the things that uh, bring satisfaction, but also on the things that bring impact, not just in their lives, but in the lives of the other people. Uh, they are the people who learn from their experiences. They are keen that no matter what they're going through, no matter the experience they're going through, they're not wasting that opportunity to learn. They're not leaving that to uh, fly past them. Even if in negative experiences, people of wisdom, they find something to learn, something to be happy about, such that when they look back, uh, they not just see how difficult and challenging it was, uh, but they are able to see uh, what they learned, and those learnings are defining who they become positively and also helping them to become change makers. So, people of wisdom are the people who decide that for every experience, whether negative or positive, they're going to learn something, and they actually uh, are focusing their minds on what is good. They're focusing on their, their minds, not just on what is good, but on the bigger picture. They, they're not just looking for instant gratification. They're not just looking for the things that will please them in the now, but they are looking for the things that will bring uh, satisfaction today and fulfillment tomorrow. So if you are someone who's looking for wisdom, the Bible says, if any man lacks wisdom, let him ask. Let him ask of the maker. Let him ask God for wisdom. Uh, but as you said about asking for wisdom, uh, be mindful of the fact that you need to position yourself in a place where you can acquire that wisdom. When you ask, be ready to receive. Because the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Knock and it shall be open. Seek and you shall find. So when you are knocking and when you are asking and when you are seeking, position yourself in a place to receive. You won't receive wisdom from wasting time. You won't receive wisdom from uh, being someone who's nagging, who is always whining, someone who's always complaining. You will receive wisdom by positioning yourself in a place where you are continually learning. You're a student of life. You don't allow uh, things to continue to happen without you being part and parcel of those events, but you find a way to infuse yourself in the experiences that life is throwing at you by learning from those experiencing and drawing the lessons uh, that are helpful and are necessary for life. And so if you're seeking wisdom today, be mindful of the fact that you need to study, uh, but much more you need to act wisely on the information you receive. Uh, you need to be able to implement that information to improve on your life, on your situation now, and the, on the lives and the situations of people around you. You are consciously making the decision every day to impact the lives of the people based on the knowledge and the information you've acquired in the past and the information you're acquiring today. So the key word for today is that people of wisdom are people who don't just have the ability to retrieve information they've acquired in the past, but they are people who are consciously acting on the information they are able to retrieve from the past. And so you can make that conscious decision today to be a man or a woman of wisdom, and God is going to bless you. Thank you for watching.